All right, so now that we've performed validation, as long as the user doesn't input blue, they're gonna get passed on to a submission process. So let's go ahead and look at how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the debugging and close that window. And let's go ahead and jump back to our module directory. And let's open up step four, which is called submission. Go ahead and copy the entire code and paste it into your .module file, overwriting everything else, and save it. This file is identical to our previous file except for one function that we've added down here called input simple form submit. Just like we can register validate functions in two ways, either by using the name of the function that returns the form array plus a dot validate at the end, we can create submit functions the same way, except instead of adding underscore validate, we add underscore submit. And we can also register submit functions the same way that we can the validate functions by adding it to the form validate array, but we'll cover that in a little bit. In this function is any processing that we would use once the data has passed the validation stage. So typically, at this point, we would sanitize any data that we need to and input it into the database or send it as an email, do some type of action. But in this case, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to use the Drupal set message function in order to show a message to the user that includes their color. We're using the T function to sanitize this data because we're not sure exactly what somebody might have put into that text field. So we're using a placeholders in the T function to make sure that any malicious content gets stripped out. So let's go ahead and make sure that this module file is saved and jump back to our browser. Let's go ahead and input another color and submit it. And sure enough, it passes through validation and goes to our submit function where it displays the Drupal set message up here. And it says, I like yellow too. So we're pulling that color from the text field.